Welcome to my channel. Now, I'm on the big build and I'm building dormers. I have three exactly the same size dormers to build. Pitch roof dormers, they've got gable ends. And how I like to do this is by taking a cutting list for everything, cutting all the material and putting them together in a sequence because it's so much quicker than building one in its entirety, then going on to the next one building that in its entirety and so on. So what that means is I've made a simple sketch and from my sketch, let's try and get, get that in close. And from my sketch, I know what the components I need. Then I made a rod. So my rod is showing everything that's important to me, the sill height, I've got an allowance for my lead. I've got my window head height, including a little bit of an allowance for fitting. Then I've got my head beam, which is running across above the window. And then I've got my plate height. So that enables me then to come round to where the dormer or the wall plate will intersect on the side cheeks. And it gives me an idea of how long everything needs to be for me to put together a cutting list. Um, the cutting list that I'm gonna do is the head beams, the initial legs that take me up to support the head beam the initial wall plates that run me back in to the triple ply here. And then I can just fill the stud work in. I'll do one more measure and fill the stud work in. So what I'll do is I'll get them all up to that position, up to plate height, clad the outside in OSB, then we'll cut the roof over them. By doing that, you don't get this conflict of having a rafter over a stud wall and having to cut round your OSB. It's all really, really nice and airtight and super strong. So we've got the dormer shells up. Now we're at the point where I'm gonna put the roof on. So just like I did with the shells, try to cut as many components at the same time. I've done exactly the same for the roof. So in front of me, I've got a selection of tools that I need to use and I've got joists. These are my joists here. There's four joists. I've got eight rafters. I've got a piece of ridge board. I've got a valley 
which has been cut, a lay board which has been cut. It's got a bird's mouth on each end, obviously opposites with a splay where they sit over the wall plates. Then I've got my valley jacks, my lay board jack rafters there. I've got a central stud which supports the back of the OSB on the gable. And then I've got my strips of OSB which go down the front. So basically it's a matter of me getting my rod, which is what I use for all of the dormers, marking out my centers, putting my joists on, my first pair of rafters, popping my ridge through, getting that level, getting the first set of rafters plumb, fixing them up, filling the rafters in, cutting the lay boards in, and dropping the lay board jack rafters in. Then I can put on my OSB on the outside, but at that point I need to trim back my wall plates and trim back my ridge. I leave them slightly long so I can work on them. Then I can put my OSB on, put the front strips down, and then it's ready for facial and soffits.